Hi everyone, it's Chelsea here, bringing you another segment of Living in Southwest Florida. Home prices here have changed rapidly, and you may be wondering what you could expect once you're ready to make the move. So today we're going to go ahead and explore how much are houses in Fort Myers. But let's pause real quick before we jump in. If you could go ahead and hit that like button for me, I would really appreciate it. This way YouTube algorithms share this information with others, it lets me know what you'd like more of, and frankly, it makes me feel good and boosts my self-esteem. And as a thank you, here's a picture of Four Mile Cove in Cape Coral, a really great nature preserve that has nature trails and kayaking available. I wouldn't be doing my job well if I also didn't remind you that we always love helping people from all over the country buy and sell their homes here in Southwest Florida. So if you or anyone you know are even thinking about moving, then feel free to use the contact information below. All right, let's jump on in. <laughs> Okay, before we get too deep into the topic, I want to set up some game rules. Clearly, my day job is not as a fortune teller, so I'm going to go ahead and focus on what pricing trends look like currently. But if you would like to hear my thoughts on what we're watching for, then check out my recent market update videos, and I even discuss in depth a little bit about it in the rent or buy video. All the data I'm going to use is fresh from this morning, and I think that the best way to handle this question in a video like this is to take a broad approach. So I'm going to discuss condos versus single families, waterfront or not, and then I can give you examples of a few different price points. All this being said, once you're ready to get more information, please reach out so we can discuss your specific needs versus your budget and what you might have as your best scenario because it really can be highly niched. Up first is condos. If your perfect home is a condo, maybe you're tired of having to take care of that yard, or you find the upkeep minimal, or it's your best choice for your budget, then you can probably expect to be spending anywhere between $70,000 in Fort Myers for a completely gutted cash-only unit in downtown Fort Myers, all the way to a luxurious 4,300 square foot, four bedroom with panoramic views of the river in this luxurious Gulf Harbor Yacht and Country Club for $2,250,000. Obviously, these are two very extremes, but as a whole, you can expect a median sales price for Fort Myers within the last 30 days is $230,000, and there are approximately 200 to 225 options available. What you can get for this price point? Well, over the past month for under 300,000, you could have bought a three bedroom, two bath condo that was in turnkey condition in Waterford, a community located within Lexington Country Club community. Turnkey means that this particular condo was sold fully outfitted with furniture and housewares. Bring a toothbrush and settle right in. Alternatively, this two bedroom plus den two bathroom condo at Whiskey Creek Village Green sold for $270,000. The Village Green is a 55 plus community located within Whiskey Creek, which is the heart of McGregor Corridor. And if your budget is more like the median price of $230,000, then maybe this two bedroom, two bath, first floor condo in Paseo, which sold exactly at $230,000 is more your speed. Next, let's discuss single family homes. If you'd rather have more space between you and your neighbors, then maybe a single family home is a better option for you. As of today, you can find itty bitty 500 square foot one bedroom tiny home for 110,000 in downtown Fort Myers, or you could find an incredible 8,300 square foot waterfront home in Miramar Lakes for $6,350,000. That being said, if you'd like to stick more in the middle, the median price point for recently sold homes sold for $388,500. I'm gonna break this down further into waterfront or non-waterfront. In the past 30 days, if the home you bought was on waterfront, your median price would have been $525,000. And if you were lucky enough to buy one of the 24 homes that had Gulf access, then your median price would have jumped to $805,000. If you didn't care whether it was on the water or not, but you wanted your own swimming pool, then you could expect to pay a median price of $550,000 in Fort Myers. But for those of you who didn't care at all for the fancy stuff and had no pool and no waterfront, then the price could come down to a reasonable $290,500. So what did an average home look like? 
Well, if you had a pool home, then perhaps it looked similar to this three bedroom plus den home with over 2,300 square feet that was located in Stonebridge, a smaller community located off of the Winkler Extension Corridor. This particular home sold for $526,100. If you wanted to stay under $400,000, then perhaps this Colony Lakes home would have been more your speed. This home sold for $390,000 and featured three bedrooms, two bathrooms, and 1,881 square feet. For a home with a bit more luxury, this gorgeous riverfront home in Broadview Manor, a community within the riverfront district, featured a magazine-worthy 2,457 square feet with a three-bedroom plus a den and a boat lift. Can you guess how much it sold for? The final price tag on this old Florida lifestyle was $900,000. So how do these compare to your expectations and your lifestyle? As always, you can find my contact info below in the video description if you'd like to run specific questions by me for your specific scenario and see what sort of home or lifestyle could fit your budget. No obligations. Also available for use is my website, capecoralfortmyersrealestate.com with all the latest listings to hit the market. Also feel free to add me on social media and follow along as we post weekly articles and information that may find handy and give you insight into what life in Florida looks like. And as always, be sure to leave us a comment, hit that like button, subscribe button, and notification bells, and then you can be notified when we drop future videos that may help you with living in Southwest Florida. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, I wish you much health and happiness.